Right now I'm headed to Jesus Image to do some teachings on enjoying the presence of God for Michael Koulianos' Jesus School Online. This is the new book. It has to do with the being the bride of Christ. Some people have asked me before why uh, we're called a bride and what does that mean? And so I put this booklet together for them. So I'll be speaking about enjoying the presence of the Lord today. And this topic makes me so excited, not only because it is exciting, but because it personally sustains me and is my my favorite thing about being alive is being able to receive the life that comes down from above. Um, so my text today will be in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy, fullness of joy, joy so full, nothing else is able to add to that joy because it is so complete and in every facet of your being, you are satisfied. Have you ever eaten? And when you've eaten so much, even things that you would really like to have in that moment, they don't have, you don't want them at all. This to me is a good example of the fullness of joy so completely satisfies the soul that even things that you naturally would be inclined to desire, you're like, I'll pass. Um, I'm so full and so happy with what I have in him that even those things that I recognize would be desirable have lost their desire. What do you mean? You're always like matching like tip top. Yeah. I, wish, I wish I was as cool as you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Got myself the iPhone 11. Oh yeah? How yeah. is it? That seems pretty cool. I'm using yeah. it today to vlog. Oh, come on. You're the main star of the vlog today. What? Well, hello. <laughs> I'm the main star. That's, that's 50 of them, so you'll be able to mail those out to partners, yeah? Perfection, yeah. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Welcome to the intensive. I'm Eric Gilmore, and I'll be talking to you today about enjoying his present. I want to start with a poem. This poem is actually written by Emily May Grimes in the uh, early 19th century. She says, speak, Lord, in the stillness while I wait upon thee. I just want to stop right there for a second. Did you see how she was looking for the voice connected to being still and waiting. He says to her, basically, you don't know who you're talking to. Then he says, if you knew who you were talking to, you would ask me to give you a drink. Why are you so amazing at everything you do? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. What's up, Kobe? How's it going, Eric? How's it going, bro? You miss Cali? Oh yeah, I miss I miss everything about California, especially yeah. the weather and the no humidity at all. What about Hope? You miss Hope? Oh yeah, I miss my family. Yeah. I miss I miss all of them, but really just the weather. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, man, your session was amazing. Oh, you liked it? Oh. How'd it go today? What'd you think? It was really good. I really liked it. There was such a beautiful, uh, s uh, still peace. Yeah. Especially like towards the ends when when you were like praying. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just so simple, man. Yeah. You know, um, the dry seasons and all that, man, need to be exposed. Yeah. Like it's not. It's That's not, not God's gospel. nature. Why would God withhold His presence from you? <laughs> when, he, when he when he died nature. to give His presence, why would He take it? Yeah, it's exactly. ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you.